everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and as you can see, we're back in the kitchen again. So today we are going to be making something from the store, star, store, wow, Star Wars Life Day cookbook. Um, and basically what we're going to be called, this is called Kibrut Parcels. It's basically like an, um, a tamale, okay? So the first thing that you're going to want to do, which I've already done ahead of time, you're gonna to want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Degrees? Whoo! Okay, degrees, I'm sorry. And you're gonna take two medium-sized sweet potatoes and just poke some holes in them with a fork, set them on a pan with some parchment paper, and then put them in the oven for about an hour. You want them to become nice and soft, basically, so that you can smash them, okay? When you take them out of the oven, you're gonna let them cool for a little bit until you're able to handle them. Then you're gonna peel the skins off of them and then just smash them up in a bowl or something and set them aside, okay? So I've already done that ahead. Also, what you're going to need to do is take at least 18 corn husk, dried corn husk. I got a little bit more just for any mistakes because I've never done this before. And you're gonna to wanna to soak those in lukewarm water for about 45 minutes. So I cooked my sweet potatoes first, and then once I pulled them out of the oven and was letting them cool, I put my corn husk in some lukewarm water so that they can soak while I'm doing all the rest of this stuff, okay? All right, so the next part is, you're going to take a medium saucepan and put it onto a medium low heat. That looks about good. All right, and then you're gonna put into this saucepan, you're going to combine one 14.5 ounce can of black beans and you're gonna drain them, which this is, this is actually a 15.25, but that's okay. Okay, you can put those in there. Then you're going to put in a half a cup of sweet corn, which I just bought a can of sweet corn, drained it out and put a half a cup of from it in there. Then you're going to also put two tablespoons of chopped roasted green chilies, okay? Oh, hold on just a second, I forgot to open this one. do apologize for that. So I just bought chopped roasted green chilies from the store and I'm just gonna use those. So you need two tablespoons. So we've got one and two, there we go. All right, the next thing that you're going to do is you're gonna add in some, a half a teaspoon of chili powder. So one half teaspoon right there. chili powder. Okay. Then you're going to put in a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Ooh, half a teaspoon of that. And then um, a half a teaspoon of salt, which I'm just going to kind of guesstimate. I'm just going to shake some in. There we go. Then you're gonna put in a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. A fourth of a teaspoon. I'm knocking stuff everywhere. And then your last part is a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm sorry, an eighth of a teaspoon. Wow, I don't know why I said half. So an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And you're just gonna stir this up. You're just basically going to let this come to a simmer and simmer it for about five to seven minutes. You want it to be kind of fragrant and warmed all the way through. Okay. So then once that's done, you're going to set that aside and then we're going to make the mesa. So, or masa, I'm not sure how you say that. So let me get this warmed up and then I'll be back to show you guys how to make the masa. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So now that our stuff is done and I have it sitting right here. Um, what you're going to do now is make uh, the mesa, okay? So basically what you're going to need to do is you're going to, in a large bowl, you're going to whisk together, let me get this open here, two cups, it says of masa harana, um, and when I looked that up, it basically said it's this, this stuff, okay? It's like a corn, a corn flour, kind of, yeah, instant corn masa flour, okay? 
All right, so you're gonna need two cups of that. And I did find this at Walmart, surprisingly. Okay, two cups of that. Then you're going to need, uh, da, 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 da. oh, your salt. So you're gonna need a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna shake some in here, good. Um, then you're gonna need your baking powder, which you're gonna need one teaspoon of baking powder as well. One teaspoon, here we go. Okay, and you're gonna whisk that all together. So let me grab a whisk here. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add to this one cup of vegetable broth that's been warmed up a little bit. So it shouldn't be hot, just warm. I just took the one cup measuring cup, put the broth in it and stuck it in the microwave for about 45 seconds to a minute, okay? All right, so then once you get this all mixed up, you're gonna add the broth a little at a time. Okay. I'm getting a big clump in my whisk. And even is smelling already kind of like what a what a tortilla smells like. Pretty good. Oops. Okay, a little bit more of this. Okay, and then with this, you're gonna need also a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. That one's empty. Oh, and this one doesn't want to open. That's fantastic. There we go, got it. Like double seal everything now. There we go, okay. All right, so then you're gonna add a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil and still this too a little at a time. And I would say that a whisk is not the best thing for this. There we go. I think I'm just gonna use my hands. The whisk is not helping very much. And it says mix for about five minutes until it's paste-like, which it's already getting there pretty good. All right, oops. There we go. That looks good. Perfect. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to roll our <laughs> stuff's flying off of my hands. We're gonna roll our um, our roll our tamales here, um, and of course you can see my corn husk here. So I'm gonna get my hands cleaned up, and what we're gonna do is take the I'm gonna take the corn husk out, and I'm gonna kind of towel dry them off really lightly, and then I'll show you guys how it says to roll these. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. You guys, so as you can see, I have my little corn husk here. And what you're gonna do is um, once you, I just kind of drained the bowl and I left them sitting in the bowl. So you're just gonna pat it dry, okay? Then you're going to place it on a clean surface. This one is not wanting to stay unrolled. And you're gonna take three tablespoons of your mesa that you made and you're gonna put that in the center, okay? The one, two and three okay then with this make sure we get this flap out there we go then with this you're going to put in um let's see one tablespoon of your uh, mashed potatoes your sweet mashed potatoes so one tablespoon of that in there and then one tablespoon correct 
Yes, and then one tablespoon of your bean mixture, okay? So this is how it looks so far, okay? And I'll bring this a little bit closer so you guys get it. And when you're doing the corn husk, you should have the narrow end pointing away from you, okay? So what you're going to do now is it says you're going to uh, fold the left side, then the right. So here's your left side. You're going to fold it, then your right. Oops, and there's a little bit of hole in that. That's okay. And then you're going to take the bottom. Yeah, then you're going to take the end of the husk here and fold it upwards. Oh, it's like splitting open towards the front, okay? Kind of like that, I guess. That doesn't really look like a tamale to me. I don't know. I thought they were kind of like rolled but it says to fold. I'm gonna try, I thought they were rolled. Okay, so let's try this again. And I thought they were more like, like rolled like this, like this was here and then this was here. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. If that's not right, I apologize, okay? And then you're just gonna tie this together. Like I just cut up um, one whole corn husk so you're supposed to tie this together, which that's not small enough, but you're supposed to take strips of a corn husk and tie it together, which is also part of the reason why I did a few extra strips. And where is it? Oh, here it is. That's not gonna work, you guys, cause it's not, oh, I'm just ripping up the corn husk. Okay, let's see if we can get this a little bit tighter. I kinda, I don't know. I wish I could ask somebody who's made tamales before. Okay, so here we go. Let's try this. Okay, so we'll see if we can get it to tie. It's not really tying, you guys. Oh, my. This may not be long enough. Maybe I need to find a longer piece of husk. I don't know. To tie it off. Let's try tearing off a piece of this one. Ugh, now it's just all screwed up. Okay, so left part, and it doesn't help that the um, thing is tearing up. Okay, so we fold this here, and I think we fold this here. Bring them both into the middle. No, it's kind of like a roll. <sighs> okay, so. I don't think these are going to turn out very good, but we'll do our best to get them right. Okay, it's like, a, I don't I don't know, maybe they didn't soak long enough. So they are not cooperating. And this definitely is not working. It's not long enough. Okay. All right, so let's see here. I think we'll just start over with a new one. So let's just start with a new one. Tap this one dry. Let's just put this all over here because this one is so tore up okay so left let's kind of get this all in the middle left then right and then it says says then fold the end of the husk upward toward the top so maybe like that and then like that, maybe? I mean, that worked, but I still don't know how I'm gonna tie it because these aren't long enough. Hmm. I always thought it was like a, like a roll, like you actually rolled it and then you unrolled it. If you rolled it like this, that's not gonna work, is it? So maybe just fold it in half and then tie it there I mean I don't I don't understand y'all I really don't as you can see I obviously have never made these I haven't really eaten them that much either I think if I have it's been store done ones no I didn't have to do any of this okay wow 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 all right, well, I am going to come back. I am going to watch a video, see if I can figure out how to do it myself, and then I will be back. So I'll be back. Okay, so 
this lady who I just watched said you don't actually have to tie it off if you don't want to. And I was, I guess, getting like tamales mixed up with something else. Okay, so again, corn husk down with the, the lower end facing away from you. You're going to put three tablespoons of your mesa on, but you're not just going to pile it on. You're supposed to spread it out. So that's where I screwed up, I think. Okay. So, so you're going to spread this out on here. Don't go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. Just kind of spread it out. Go. Good. There we go. Okay. So then you've got it just like that. See? Then you're going to do your one tablespoon of this, of your sweet potatoes. And your one tablespoon of your bean mixture. Okay? There we go. Now, you're going to fold the left side over. And she actually kind of folded it back just a little bit right here. And then fold your right side over. And then you're not supposed to actually, you're just, you can tie this part here if you want to, to hold that up. You don't have to. You can just set it down like that and leave that top part open like that. Okay? And just set that to the side. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of these up real quick. And then I'll be right back to show you guys how to cook them. Okay. So I'll be back in a few okay, minutes. You guys. So now that I've got these all rolled up now, I, I only made 12. It didn't make 18, but that's okay. So now what you're going to need is you're going to need a steamer pot. So this is basically just a pot with a little basket that's got all kinds of holes in it. You're going to fill the bottom of the pot up with water to the bottom of the basket, but make sure it's not touching the basket. Okay. It should be just come up to the bottom of it. Then you're gonna take these and you're supposed to try to stand them up in here. I'm not really sure if that's gonna work, but we'll try our best. So you're gonna stand these up in here and I think I'm gonna have to lay them down. And then you're going to steam them on a medium low heat. Oh, I'm sorry, medium high heat for about an hour. So you're gonna get it to simmer, put the lid on it and let it steam for about an hour. And then you will have some nice cabrute parcels tamales just like those. Those are cute little tamales. I can't wait till they're done. All right, you guys. So that's it for this video. I'm out of time. So unfortunately I won't be able to show you what they look like when they're done, but that's basically how you make them. It's pretty simple. All right. So we'll catch you later. Hope you guys like this video. Like, and subscribe if you don't, if you like, or don't, if you don't, everybody have a good day. Enjoy your cooking. Keep your kitchen messy and we'll talk to you later. Bye.